part of the family of Abu Dhabi, stay away from the pitch, please. Let me say somebody I miss so much. And uh, it's a great loss to Nigerian sports fraternity, especially football. I mean, it's, this kind of a person is like part of my family is gone. But uh, thank God for his life. He has a free life. I just, I pray to the Almighty God to give the family the courage to bear his loss. We are not mourning uh, like like uh, how uh, the family have said that we are not mourning him, but we are celebrating the life he lived, a life that affected humanity positively. You can see the crowd; everyone is here, not to mourn Chibogunjobi, but to celebrate a man who came, who lived a good life, and he hesitated when God said he should go. May so rest in perfect peace. For me, that was good job. has uh, played a vital role that prosperity posterity will continue to use him as a reference point we we lost somebody not only in nigeria i think in africa as well and football all over the world i mean so sad my prayer for him today is that his soul will rest in peace and his memory will last forever may god have mercy on nigeria football that's all I have to say. But Mr. Football in Nigeria is gone. I, I feel pain because that was my best friend in football. And I feel so pain. Um, but may so rest in peace. I pray to Almighty Allah to grant his soul. May his soul rest in peace. He has been a very hardworking administrator. It's, a, it's unfortunate that we, we are losing him at this early uh, age of his life. Even though he is no more. So many things we had learned from him, we have kept them with the expectation that we will use them to better our performance, our reaction to things. He was a gentleman, very, very humble, yet professional to the core. We will miss him. He was a leader and um, he was a humble man, a very humble man. His humility knew no bounds. Um, and we were very sad to have lost him. And personally, he's my football father and my number one advisor. So I think uh, we've lost uh, one of our youth. If it wasn't for him, I don't think I'll be this kind of the kind of coach I became. So I hold him a lot. When it comes to my coaching career, he gave me the chance and opportunity to be where I am today. So I think it was the least I can do is to come and. Pay my life's respect, so I'm happy I made it. I have lost a very good gentleman. I have so much, you know, a, a talents when it comes to administration of football worldwide. So it's somebody that I ideally will miss. He has done his own. He has uh, lived a life. He has made some contributions. It's only left for us that are left behind to continue from where he left, and we. Wish him a very good rest in peace. I sincerely believe that he's a great patriot, and not only his people on the states, the whole federation, the whole country must have lost this great gem. It's rare to come by him. He's simply lovable by everybody, and he's accessible to everybody. He's a great man, and I think we are proud to have associated with him while he was alive. When we talk ourselves, he call me Skipo, I call him LZ. I'm going to miss that now. And it's very painful. The shoot I will go job left is a very big one. And uh, I want to say, both for the family, the student that he, left be, he has left behind, and even those ones that are coming behind that he has brought up, that they should be able to emulate him. I feel um, strongly that we have lost somebody that had contributed a lot towards the growth and development of football in the country. He was like a father figure to us, even in NFL. He displayed a lot of dexterity, a lot of good leadership, you know, and uh, a lot, you know. I mean, if you think of Taiwo, you think of certain things, a lot of very positive vibe. I can't start naming them. You heard what the pastor said, you know. They are countless, so we will sorely miss it. That's the truth. I will miss Taiwo for his humanity. He was my friend, so I will miss him on that score. 
but he made tremendous contributions to Nigerian uh, football in ways that very few people have ever done. He was one of those that combined properly education with sports and their football administration. So the three of them, you don't find many people doing that. So he leaves a legacy in that regard, and uh, football will never forget him. For us, we have lost a gem. He's a legend, as far as we are concerned. And Nigerian football should know that they've lost somebody like the video. We are looking forward and we are praying to God to bless us with many more of the likes of the community.